loyalty. I think that's a word everyone knows. Isn't yeah, it? loyalty, but in, in our respect, if we're talking Love Island lingo, loyalty is, you know, your commitment to your other half. It's to stay committed to but the relationship. But also you can be loyal to your best friend as we are. We yeah. will never ever do anything behind each other's back no. or disrespect the other person because we are loyal brothers. Yeah. And by brothers, I mean brothers. And by brothers, it means brothers. Exactly. Doing, doing bits. bits. So, so doing, basically, yeah, doing bits is anything from kissing to mingling to fiddling. It's like it's anything just when from like, kissing to, let's say, um, God, what do I say? I could say a word, but ain't quite appropriate. Basically, anything from kissing to like canoodling. Yeah, or like fiddling. So if I went look at the camera, I was like, it's a bit of me that. It's actually, he means that it's a bit of him, so that's it's like, something he's interested in. I like in. it. So if I saw a girl out and I said, yeah. that's a bit of me, I'd like, I want her, not necessarily in me, but she's no, a bit of me. You would want to be in her. Yes. Grafting's, that's when your commitment to really laying it on a girl, maybe, you know, really just sticking it on her, letting her know you're about. So just grafting her, letting her know that you are available. For a little bit of a... Basically, a prime example of grafting is when a girl's not interested in you and you keep giving it a go with her and she, you're just persisting. Yeah. It's basically like working, cracking on. Just basically, you've cracked on. You've done the thing, innit? Yeah. Cracking on is almost like grafting, but it's the stage just in front of grafting when you've managed to, you know, graft them and you just crack on. Pranging is more like when... Pranging. I don't really use the word pranging, I'll pranging. be honest. Never, pranging. Never heard of it. I think it's more in terms of like... You're pranging out as in you're scared, you're nervous about something, you're anxious about something, and you're just, you're just being a bit crazy about the whole situation and jumping to conclusions. Yeah. But I'd have said pranging was, you know when you get married and you get like... Pranging? Yeah, no, you get like bean cans on the back of your car, they prang together. I'll let Chris explain this one because he gave someone this trademark name. Yeah, so. I did. Yeah, Muggy is just somebody who's very, very, very muggy. Like, just, it's just... Muggy, this is hard to explain. Is he thanked you for giving him that name yet? No, he still didn't thank me. Peng Su, I don't really say Peng. I used to say that when I was in like year, when I was in secondary school. A lot of people still say Peng, like painting, like a painting. But um, basically someone that is very, very attractive on the eye and um, mm. that you think is very, much, very good looking. And very much up your street. It's like a beautiful person. There you go, guys. That's it, that's your knowledge with Chris and Ken.